Hello folks and welcome to my next update. Today I will be talking about heating in the car. This is also one of, one of the most important things in the electric conversion. So I will be showing you guys everything how I done and how it works. As you could see in previous video, I installed 5 kW Thermotop diesel Webster from BMW. This piece of aluminium is part from Opel Ampera cooling and heating system. It has inbuilt temperature sensor and I also installed motor temperature sensor. Now I have temperature showing on the instrument cluster. Hot water goes out of the webos to through this pipe. I am using original auxiliary water pump for the car to run water in the system. It is fired directly with Webostock. Above auxiliary pump you can see two vents, each for one zone in the car to stop hot water flow when cabin temperature reaches desired value. Two separate pipes are going in cabin and one is going out parallel to secondary heat exchanger and combustion chamber. I installed this heat exchanger for warming battery in winter, but this is just an option. Webster is connected on diagnostic with DCAM USB interface. I made black adapter for three wires, but it can be connected directly to the OBD on pin 7, which is K line, pin 4 is ground, and pin 16 is 12 volt, as you can see on the picture. Second picture is wiring diagram for Webster. When is everything connected, start the application Webster Thermo Test, select COM port, and click Start Diagnostic. Here you can see some states, parameters as water temperature, flame detector, voltage as others. You can run separate all components from Webosto as water pump, glow plug, fuel pump and some other stuff. You can see faults and clear faults. Now we are going to start Pelostar. Just connect 12 volt signal on a particular pin. This is the ignition sequence. You can hear a loud fuel pump because I didn't put yet the anti-vibration rubber. On the beginning I had a problem reaching the temperature. We didn't want to go above 40 degrees. Then I found that the Webasto is not getting enough fuel. Then I borrowed from a friend's second one, with the second one also the same. So I put two together in parallel. Now it's okay. The Webasto needs 65ml fuel pump. When I bought mine, I thought they are all the same. When you are looking on the eBay, they are all from 3 to 5 kW. And yes, they are, but you won't reach the proper temperature. But now with using two fuel pumps, I can switch off one in spring or autumn when it's not needed for full power. Maybe you're asking yourself why diesel heating in the electric car? The answer is simple. Electricity you need for driving, not heating. In winter, if you want to have a proper heating, it is needed at least 5 kW of power. This is way too much. Here you can see a rising temperature. Here you can adjust the temperature. Temperature in cabin reached desired value and valves are starting to stop water flow into the cabin. You can feel it.
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you next update.